<clears throat> Hello guys and welcome to the next educational series. In this one we, we are going to be talking about uh, <laughs> no fire blade. I'm sorry for looking at the other monitor there. I just wanted to make sure that my microphone is working. I do have a new microphone now, uh, which I have tried before, but just double checking. So no fire blade. I want to be telling you guys about exactly how to utilize this item because a lot of people, like, this item is underrated. Like it's a very, very strong item and a lot of people don't know all of its uses. And that's why I want to make an educational about it. So let's go through a really fast list here before I show you all of this in practice. So, you can use it to purge buffs, of course, which is like Jerusiah Charm, Dark Lady Q, Dark Lady E, uh, Martyr's Wings, all of the stuff like that. You can also purge other things such as Ophelia Sendback, Sheepstick, and that is one of the greatest things. You didn't, if you didn't know, you can purge Sheepstick, you can purge Hellflower, and you can do all of that on your teammate, which makes it a really good item later as well when, like, when it comes to late game, and you can start purging abilities like that as well. It also has, of course, its regular activation where it slows after you purge someone. It also mana drains, and this mana drain works on illusions, which is why I have a Geo Stair in my inventory. You can kill Malthus with it, you can kill Puzzle Box with it, you can uh, purge illusions like an illusion rune or silhouettes illusion, for example. You can combo it with Mage Bane because if you didn't know, uh, no fire is no longer an attack attack modifier, so you can use it with uh, uh, Shield Breaker, you can use it with... Um, you can use it with a lot of things, so it's very very good. When I say that uh, it's no longer an attack modifier, it hasn't been for a very long time, just pointing it out. But it's not an attack modifier, you can have it with a shield breaker, a lifesteal, whatever you would like. Also, it has two levels, as you can see right here. you got level 1, which is 8 charges. So you can only use it 8 times before you have to upgrade it. And when you do upgrade it, you gain a little bit of extra stats, and you get the unlimited charges, as you can see right here. So you get 4 extra agility and 4 extra intelligence, and then you burn 16 more mana at level 2 nullifier. Uh, something to note though is that it doesn't purge Kinesis, it doesn't purge Gunblade, uh, it can purge things like Barb as well, and it can purge things like Empath Link. So, now I've explained in short a couple of things that you can purge and not purge, and let's actually show this in practice. So, we start off with using, uh, well actually let's just take it through the list, because I wrote everything down to make sure I didn't miss anything. Alright, so let's start off here with Jerusiah Charm, alright? So, we Jerusiah Charm him, and we purge it. As you can see, we completely remove it, and we slow him for 80% minimum speed slow, tapering over a couple of seconds. Which is insane, so whenever you're playing against a Jiraisaya, and you don't have like something that purchases like an electrician, no fire blade is absolutely amazing. Also gonna ulti. And bam, we can purge to ultimate as well. So really, really good. We're gonna put it on refresh here, so we can just uh, purge things one at a time. Alright, then we can show you, uh, let's see here, the ultimate. Alright, so Dark Lady Q&E. I, I, I know that you guys see me buy Nullfire a, like, a lot. Like I buy Nullfire way more than other people, and that's because I think the item is absolutely great. And on Silhouette in particular, I buy a lot of Nullfires, especially against Dark Lady, because this is what you can do. She charges in, auto attacks you, and you perch, and you, well, you can't blink away, but you can oh, you can use your illusion and then run away and then blink away. So, no fire against Dark Lady is amazing because not not only is, the, is Geo's good because you perch off the, the silence, but no fire as well. You perch the silence and you run away. So, no fire, but you can also use it offensively, so when she does this, you perch her, her dark place disappear, and her charge, uh, her extra attack speed uh, disappears. So, it's a very strong item against a hero like Dark Lady. Uh, Alright, and then of course we have the Martyr W as I said, like if you look at her now, she takes no damage, I perch it off, you remove it. So very very good against that as well. Now, I also wanted to show you this of course, as I said, this is one of the greatest uses that when you've used the item mid-game for anti-silence or anti-removing dots, like you can also remove a lot of dots, keep that in mind, so like if I W here on Hellbringer, you can just perch it off yourself. And it disappears. So Slither, Hellbringer, people with dots and stuff like that. You cannot purge Hellbringer ult. Uh, sorry, uh, Slither ulti. Keep that in mind. Like, you cannot purge everything, but you can purge off most things. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, so the sheep here. So I'm gonna... Well, actually, we need another hero here from Legion. <laughs> there was something I missed here. Alright, Legion. Empath. I sheep, my friend. You no fire it away. She's all good. One of the strongest uses, as I said. Really, really good. 
Um, besides that, of course, I wanted to show you the Euphelia Sendback. All right. Oh, what the hell? Are you kidding me right now? All right. Die, you damn catapults. Okay. Where was I? <laughs> um, Ophelia Sunback, right. So, obviously, if I use Ophelia Sunback on anyone here, they're going to go home to base, right? But you can actually push this off and stop the Sunback from going home. And I do want to point out something. For those of you who watched Honkast against... Uh, who was it? It was... Evil Corporation against Two Zero last weekend. They would have won that game if they bought an old fireblade. Because Ophelia kept sending home Doctor Repulsor from base. Doctor Repulsor flew all the way bottom, did a lot of damage to the pushers, and they simply couldn't push base. So that was an absolutely great way of Evil Corporation to utilize Ophelia Doctor. But all they needed was an old fire, and Doctor would have died. But they never bought one, and they ended up losing the game because of it. So keep that in mind. You can push Ophelia send back. A very strong ability of using it for. Now, as I besides that, of course. We talked about the mana drain when you auto attack. So, you mana drain here. You can see this. You remove a lot of her mana. But something to note is it also works on illusions, but not to its full extent. So, one third of the mana drain actually works on illusions. So, it's going to remove 12, as you can see right here. And the regular one removes 36. So also a great thing to think about that when you do have a hero with Geos or something like that, no fire, it gets a little bit of extra value. Uh, Alright, so let's show you how to kill Malthus and show you how to kill Puzzle Walk. So where is my little hub right here? Alright. So as you can see here, Malthus is currently one of the strongest ultimates in the game. No one can say against that. And it instantly dies to a null fire blade and you gain 250 gold. So when you're playing against a Hellbinger. And you are a silhouette, for example. Buying an old fire is really, really, really good. So if you if you can do that, I, I would definitely recommend it. Because killing Malthus like that, boom, is worth it. She still gets her stun off, so Hellbringer is not a useless hero without uh, when you have an old fire. But she her ultimate does way less. So it's a good thing to think about. And yes, also the puzzle box, as we talked about. Puzzle box, an amazing item that I also buy a lot and think is really good. Two counters, alchemist bones, and no fire blade, for example. And uh, this is how you remove it. Now, obviously, your no fire does have 14 second cooldown, so you can't kill both of them. So make sure you choose your target wisely. But it's really good against a hero like Parasite. You approach it, and uh, then you kill him. So also a good use for it. Uh, Alright, so let's show you this as I talked about. So one second. Let me pick up an old fire blade. So, against Silhouette, of course, uh, there are a couple of really good heroes against Silhouette. Why are you being mean to me? There we go. So, there are a couple of good heroes against Silhouette, but there are also items that are good against Silhouette. So, it's like Sheepstick, like Hellflower, anything that can stop her from getting in and getting out fast, which is exactly what she does amazingly. But there's also another item. Which is no fire. If she ever swaps out of a team fight, you instantly purge it and she cannot come back. So if they're five man team fighting, you jump to silhouette, she swaps out at half life or just to get out safe, you purge the illusion, she can no longer be there and you can absolutely destroy that fight. It's a very good thing to point out and really, really important. So, no fire, very good against stuff like silhouette illusions as well. Can also push regular illusions just like a mana drain from which there can. Uh, you know, the ones who pick up the rune, the illusion rune. So, also good to know. All right, so let's see here. We are at combo with Mage Bane. So, I will show you really fast here. Mage Bane, there we go. Legion. All right, so. Uh, now, I personally don't really like this build very very much, but I wanted to bring it out anyway for those of you who didn't know. So, right, th this right here, uh, let's see here, she has 2200 mana, uh, mana sorry. So let's just uh, attack her here. 166 mana is what we burn here per level, right? And then we add on top the, uh, the Null Fire Blade. And you push 36 plus 166, so you actually get even more, as I talked about, and you do a maximum of 202 mana drain. So for every auto attack, you drain 202 mana off this martyr right here, which is, well, really, really, really strong. But like I said, I'm not personally a fan of no fire and don't think you need it. But if you are playing against a lot of heroes with very low mana pools, like Pebbles has a very low mana pool in the start of the game, the mana drain could do tons. So if 
But that's also why you buy a Geobane, because not only is Geobane a great item on Mage Bane, but you also Mana Drain even more. You also get that extra Mana Drain, which I can show you right here. Uh, can I actually do that? I can. Alright, cool. Alright, so let me show you here. As you can see, these illusions remove tons and tons of damage, which is why Geos is such a strong item on Mage Pain and why you should get that. So, I personally just don't think Lullfire is worth it, but I still wanted to mention it. Alright, so we talked about no attack modifier, so let me show you that really fast as well. So we can just go here, a silhouette, and pick up a Shield Breaker and attack. And as you can see, the Shield Breaker purchase, and I still Mana Drain the Martyr. So both of them working together. Can also show you the life steal really fast here. Or frost burn, we can do frost burn. There you go. We mana drain and she gets slowed from frost burn. So not an attack modifier. Very important to know. If you would like to do something like that. Um we talked about level one and two, eight charges of level one. Uh, okay, so let's try out barbed here. So we're gonna barbed and boom, perch it off. So obviously a uh, quite a decent item against a hero like Pharaoh. Pharaoh ultis in, he barbs. You can't attack him. Small no fire away is barbed. You can attack him. Voila. Um, yeah, and then we have the empath link. She links you. She's going to try and stun you. You purge yourself. Link is gone. You run away. Like, there are so many uses for this item and so many abilities you can purge off yourself, off your teammates, and you can purge your opponent's buffs and stuff like double damages and all of that. So keep that in mind, guys. Go into practice mode if there's anything you feel like. Hmm, can I purge this? Can I purge this off a teammate? Can I purge this off myself? Can I purge this off my enemy? It's very, very good to know. You should do that if you are uncertain of if item, uh, a no fire blade is a good choice or a bad choice. Because you, you want to know all of these things in your head. So when you're in that game, when you're fighting, and when you're playing the game, you want to know that, is this a good no fire blade? No fire blade game. Yes, it is. Uh, and yeah, but I don't want, like I said, I want to say that you can purge everything. I will show you an example right here. Look at this. You cannot purge Kinesis Shield. You cannot purge this passive whatsoever because it doesn't like work. Um, it doesn't work in the same way as a Jerusiah Shield does. Like this is a passive that just builds up. It's not a shield that you can apply, and it's not a buff that you can apply. It's a state. I will do the same thing here with Gunblade. As you can see, non-purchable. So as I said, if there's anything you feel like you don't know, anything you and if you're uncertain of whether or not you can perch, go into a practice and find out. It's always, always worth it. You can perch this off yourself. Just like now I'm just using all the abilities here that I have on this, uh, uh, in, in the, of these heroes. And yes, you can perch slow stuff yourself, like slither slow. You can perch so many things. But yeah, I think this is it for this, uh, this educational episode, guys. I think I went through all the things on my list. Yes, I did. I, I think I got it all. I even double checked with a couple of friends. Like, did I get most of the things in here? Just to make sure that I gave you guys as much information as possible. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. And once again, guys, if you did like this video, don't forget to leave a like. It helps me out a great, like, a ton. So if you like it, leave a like below. All it takes is one click. And thank you for that. And uh, besides that, don't forget to check out Gas Mobile on App Store if you're from Southeast Asia, uh, where you can play sort of a Plinko wheel every eight hours and win avatars, silver coins, and stuff like that, announcers. It's kind of like Plinko for free every eight hours. Uh, a very nice application, so check that out if you're from Southeast Asia. And uh, besides that, I just want to thank you all for watching my videos as always, and I hope you guys learned a lot from this video, and I'll see you all in the next one. So once again, thank you for watching. See you in the next one. Goodbye.